Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are looking for ways to build your website for free, easy and very fast, this video is perfect for you. In my last tutorial called Build a Photo Portfolio in under 10 minutes, I showed you specifically how to set up a portfolio page in WordPress. But as this was a step-by-step -step guide, I figured it would be helpful to some of you to gain some basic knowledge on how WordPress actually works. This is certainly gonna help a lot of you that are new to WordPress and that want to dig deeper into that topic. I'm gonna try to keep it short today, so don't judge me if I only scratch the surface, but let's head to the computer and I'll show you the very basics of WordPress. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the WordPress structure. WordPress is built to separate content and visualization like pretty much every content management system. And this means that all of your content and data is stored inside a database on the back end and then presented in a certain way that is defined by your theme and the custom preferences. This also means you can change up your website's design and the look of it fairly easy and keep most of the data. Talking themes, these are the key to styling your website. There are millions of free and paid themes and you simply have to choose the one that fits your needs the best. Either go to appearance, themes and hit the add button to search the millions of themes available inside WordPress or go to a digital marketplace like ThemeForest for example and pick one there, upload it and you're good to go. The third point I want to talk about are blogs and websites. If you are watching this video, it's highly likely that you're trying to build a standard website with WordPress. And what I mean by that is not building a blog. WordPress is capable of publishing a blog as well and thus there are two separate categories in the backend each for blog posts and for pages like you see here on the left hand side. To specify if you want your site to be mainly a blog or a static page, go to Appearance, Customizer and choose whichever option from the home page menu that you want. As we've just opened the customizer already, let's stick around here for a minute and talk about this part of the backend. This is the place where you customize your theme space settings to your needs. Make sure to style your site according to your overall branding and visuals by choosing your color palette, font, logo and slogan. There are also great extensions for the customizer which make things easier and much more advanced sometimes. Also, some themes come with customizer extensions already. Talking extensions, these are called plugins in WordPress and just like with the themes, there are millions of them. Actually, I think there's a plugin for pretty much anything you would want on your site. So same here as with the themes, go to the plugins section, hit the install or add new button, there you can search pretty much everything you want. So I know this was a very quick run through and I showed you some of the basic features only and there are millions more, but these basics are probably going to help you whenever you're trying to build a website with WordPress. I hope you got something out of this and like this video. If you want to go through these basic steps in a little slower pace, then please go to the description and download my ultimate five minute WordPress guide from there. That's it for today, guys. I hope to see you back next Wednesday. Until then, have a great week and make sure to get your stuff seen.